Hello? Is this thing on? No, I'm just playing. What's up, guys? It's MOD, the Guardian, uh, moderator, operator of the game Clash of Queens. Yours truly here, bringing in another video. Today we're going to be doing defensive setup. Um, got a lot of big players out here that uh, like to spend a lot of money. I know I don't like to spend money. I don't even like to buy my own shoes. But, you know, gotta walk somehow, huh? Um, so, yeah, uh, got a request for a defensive setup video. Um, gonna give you guys, like, a basic rundown of what you should be working on um, to be able to take some good hits, uh, not lose everything that you've worked for, because God knows if you didn't pay for it, you worked for it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, today I'm not using my MOD account, uh, it's a little bit smaller than my account that I have here in 101, so, I'm gonna use this account to show you guys basically what's, what's gonna happen, um, let's get right into it, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, no, um, we're gonna start with the garrison of the wall, you guys should know that each troop type has their, well, each troop has their own troop types. Um, there's an attack and a defense. Know your differences. If you do not know your differences, you will not be successful. So, <clears throat> infantry, shieldmen. Cavalry, cavalry, obviously. Um, archers, crossbowmen. And then mages, mage. These are all defensive troops. Um, <clears throat> your garrison setup should look pretty much exactly like mine. Um... Your infantry is going to be in there taking big hits. Your mages are going to be in there taking big hits. And your crossbowmen are going to be in there delivering big hits. Um, I'll explain that to you a little bit after. But <clears throat> your wall garrison should look pretty much just like this percentage-wise. Go ahead and save that. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. Uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is research. Research is actually very important. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and jump into college. Lord knows I never went, but still pretty smart. Um, a lot of people think that city defense is going to help you a lot on, on defense, and that is that is very much not true. Um, a lot of the city defense is just is just trap research. Um, I think traps are a waste of time. They're a waste of resources. They don't ever do nothing. Maybe kill like 100 or so troops, but what's the point of that? Um so when you're in your city defense, you do want to work on some things. Uh, you want to work on your wall reinforcement up here. You want to work on your battlements, which is going to give you defender defense. And you want to work on uh, your loophole, which is going to give you defender attack. Um, <clears throat> so there's th those three right there. And then you can find those three down here as well. Wall reinforcement, loophole, battlements. Um, another good thing to work on is first aid. But that's for attack. That right there is going to get turn your um, your lost soldiers into wounded soldiers. Instead of them dying, they'll become wounded. But that's just for attack. We're not going to get into that one. Um, for your military research, this is very important as well. Um, you can see they go by tiers. Uh, you have your attacks up here. Your swordmen, horsemen, magic, and archery. And then your second one's always, it's always going to be defense. All these ones with shields. Um, these are very important on your defense. Um, <clears throat> if you have to choose on which research, say you're limited on resources, and you have to choose which research you want to do first, always go with archery, I mean, sorry, infantry and armoring. So you want to do your scale armor, and you want to you want to do your armoring. This is going to increase your infantry defense and your your caster defense, which is also very important. Um, after that, make sure make sure you're doing your cavalry defense and your um, shooter attacks. Um, the health points are also very important as well. Um, your infantry grit, cavalry grit, caster grit, and your shooter grit. Um, we all know if your troops are going to last longer in battle, they're going to do better. They're going to get more kills. So you want to work on these ones as well. So don't neglect these guys because if you neglect your, your health points, your defense is going to be pointless. Um, also, a lot of people may not may not think this, but you want to work on your archery attack as well. I'm going to show you guys a little something here. If you go into your range and you're looking at your crossbowmen, okay? Here's your typical level 7 crossbowmen. Um, you don't get these guys until level 9 again. But... <clears throat> 
if you go in here, you click on this, this little arrow over here, okay? This little eye button. And it's going to show you all their skills down here. This defense skill right here at the bottom. Get attack bonus during defense. This means when your crossbowman is, is defending your castle or defending another person's castle, they're going to get an attack bonus. And you can see up here, the attack is very high. Your attack is at 68, and that's even higher than your level 8 attack for the 47. These guys right here, they have double attack speed, though. So, even though your um, the, uh, the attack is only 47, when it, with double attack speed, it's hitting, it's hitting two times faster than the crossbowman is going to hit. So... Instead of it being 47, it's actually going to be 94. So it is higher, but those are better for attack to defense. These guys right here with the attack bonus, they're going to do a lot better. You see the defense is hot. Um, just a, a little bit a little bit less than that one. Health points are just, they're just, they're very, very close. But these guys are shit on defense. Um, so when you're working on defense, you want to uh, work on your research for your archer attack as well um you guys do not do not neglect that that is going to be a very important part into winning your battles um most battle reports are wins if the enemy is losing more power than yours it doesn't matter about how many troops you lost doesn't matter about how many troops you killed i've i've killed 100k troops in a battle before and still lost um lost 50k troops and i've lost battle because uh, my troops were higher level i lost more power than that guy so you want to make sure that you're making your opponent lose more power um another thing we want to get into is our dragon research this is going to be very important for yourself as well you want to work on your dragon armor that's going to help your blue dragon defend uh your dragon strength which is going to increase the health points of your dragon and your dragon claws which is going to increase the attack as well um another important thing to work on for your dragon is your dragon garrison master um this right here is going to increase the defense during the garrison of the dragons work on your dragon siege um this is going to increase the attack with the siege of the dragons so when you're attacking it's going to increase it. It's going to give about 5% bonus. Garrison is going to give a 5% bonus on defense. And then the Dragon Slayer is going to increase um, the health points. It says restraint on the basic elements of the dragon. But it means it, it's health points. Um, so you want to work on those. Also, you um, the best thing you can you can do for yourself is work on uh, these Banes. Bane of Mages, uh, Bane of Archers, Bane of Cavalry, and the Bane of Privates. These right here are going to increase the attack on those certain troop types. And you can get 10% bonus on each of those. So those are going to be very helpful when you're defending your castle. Um, that's pretty much all you have to work for, work on in, in that college. We'll get into the Skyland College next. <clears throat> Despacito. I got that stupid song stuck in my head. Um, oh, that's Temple of Gods. What am I doing? Here is our Skyland College. This is actually my favorite college. Um, I believe they should have introduced this before they introduced anything else. Um, this is a new feature right here that they just added to the Skyland College. It is freaking awesome. Um, this right here is probably like the epitome of the research that you should be doing. Um, I don't have any of it done because I don't have the resources for it right now. As you can see, it does cost a lot. Uh, 21 mil wood, 24 mil food, 4 million iron. This this is no joke. Um, but you can reduce the, the defense and also the health points and also the attack of all troop types. Um, that right there, if you can get this research done on defense, is going to greatly improve your chances. I know it's only 5%. five percent. Well, I know you can only research it five times, but each time is 3%. So you can reduce each of their uh, defense, attack, and health points by 15%, which really doesn't seem like much, but that can be the, deci deci the little deciding factor of a win or a loss. Next, we're going to go over to your Dragon Hunter. Um, dragon Hunter is also very important. Um, you want to research, obviously, Dragon Hunter. It increases the troops' damage to the dragon. Uh, green dragons are very powerful at attack, and they give that that buff. Um, so, 
you want to be able to kill their dragon fast. Uh, the more you have towards the uh, the dragon attack, the faster you're going to kill the dragon. Uh, the dragon's not going to uh, kill your blue dragon. It's not going to kill a lot of troops. So you want to work on your your um, dragon dragon attacks. Sorry. It says attack dragon, so it's messing me up. You want to work on your dragon attacks for each of your troop types. Um, if you had to start with one, I'd start with um, your shooters and then your mages. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about infantry because the infantry is not really going to do much much damage. It's just going to take the hit. Um, you do want to work on the dragon defender as well. This is going to help your troops uh, defend against the dragons. This one, I would start with the warriors, which is infantry, and then the mages. Um, that's going to help you a lot. It's going to help your troops stay alive longer from the, uh, the dragons. So, pretty much, pretty much everything, like, in this dragon hunter, um, section of the Skyland College, you really want to work on. Um, dragons are big, big components of, of this game, and they kill a lot of freaking troops. Um, I am not a big fan of them, unless my dragon is killing a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Sad to say that, but I think a lot of people feel that way as well. Uh, this little building over here, I hate that stupid thing. Um, also, I don't have the Stardust, actually. I think I only have one Stardust. But there's a Stardust um, that increases your hospital capacity, which is very important. You need big hospitals if you're getting hit by bigger guys. Um, you don't want to lose all your troops and have to rebuild everything. I've done it before, and it freaking sucks. Um, so you don't you you want your hospitals to be up. Um, I try not to hold a lot of troops over than what my hospital can hold. It's very disappointing when you lose a bunch of troops. Um, I've I've lost three million troops before, and it was not fun. Maybe want to leave the game. But, um, keep your hospitals up. There's another Stardust that is, um, you get defense while defending, and I think you can upgrade it 33%, so it's like another piece of equipment. It's actually very, very helpful, um, if you're working strictly on those, um, those are going to be a big factor into your troop buff while you're defending as well. Um, we're going to get into equipment now. I absolutely hate this equipment, um very hard to get the um materials that you need unless you're spending money and i don't like to spend money on this stupid game i don't i, I keep going to stupid it's not stupid i just think uh, a lot there's some there's some things that need to be changed but um i love it obviously i'm still here i've been playing for two years so uh let's see here the Eternity set. This is the best one to work towards. A lot of people can hit Lord level 50. Um, it's very hard to get to Lord level 60 unless you are spending money. Uh, so if you're not spending money like most of us, you uh, want to shoot for this this equipment right here. Um, your full set is probably your best. Um, the best way to get these materials, usually you can get everything except for the green elemental ores down here. Just by pretty much playing the game. It, there, those all, all three of those those first three uh, uh, materials up here are very easy to get. Um, as you can see, I have a high amount of them. I just don't have a lot, lot. Um, these elemental ores, your best way to get them is through honor points. Um, I know it sucks. Maybe you have. Um, I used to use one of my farms strictly um, to get my honor points. I'd hit my farm troops every day, get my maximum honor points, and spend it all on elemental ore. It's probably the best way to get it. Uh, if you're a level 30 castle, you can get, I think it's 1.3 million honor points a day, which equals out to about 10 elemental ores a day. Um, so just about in a week, you can you can get about 70 of those, even the purple ores too. Um, if you need to start with something, um, I would... I, the first one to work on, best to be worked on, on would be the Eternity Hammer for your defense, for your infantry, and then, um, your, uh, enemy, eternity gator, I don't say enemy, your eternity gator, um, those are the first two I'd work on, and then your eternity armor, um, and then pretty much everything else from there, they're very, very hard to get, but if you use the honor system, like, like I just told you, it, it's gonna reduce a lot of stress in trying to get those materials, 
because uh, those materials are very hard to get. Also, use your lucky days. Today is resource buildings, uh, building resources. But use your lucky day for the advanced materials. It will cut those in half and, and really be a lifesaver. So I usually try not to upgrade, uh, well, build uh, equipment unless I, I have a lucky day. Um, what else did I want to get into? We did research, wall garrison, um, dragon. Um, okay, well, while we're here, I'm going to go over the troop types. I'm going to show you guys defensive troops and attack troops. Um, because if you're reinforcing a castle, you need to know your, your defense and attack. Um, so as you guys know, crossbowmen, these guys are your defense. Uh, they get the, uh, attack bonus right here. They get the defense skill. So you get the attack bonus during the, during defending the castle. Um, these guys, your, your archers, well, these girls, I should say, um, they're your attack. They have double attack speed, uh, which pretty much doubles their their attack um so the, the, these guys are very important in attack these guys are very important in defense um here in your barracks you got noble guards um these guys are defense all the way as you see they have the shield decreased damage dealt by archers and crossbowmen um they have the iron armor which greatly increases defense and they have grit which great, greatly improves the health points um, so these guys are definitely here for taking big hits. Um, then you have your halberd warriors. These guys are attack. As you can see, the defense on this guy it's only twenty nine. On your warriors, it's seventy. So there's two different two different troop types for each one. And um, these guys, you get your uh, increased damage to cavalry. Um, your attack is greatly upgraded with the brutal attack and critical hit. You have a chance to deal triple damage. Um, that's very nice, but that chance to deal triple damage really isn't much. So, I don't like to use the pike warriors very often. I think they should have done something a little different with them, but eh, who am I to complain? Um, a lot of people get this mixed up. A lot of people get their cavalry mixed up. And it's really not that hard to get them mixed up. Um, your wing knights, these guys are for attack. They have the charge, which has a chance to attack enemy ranged troops. Deadly march, uh, greatly increases marching speed. And the resource battle, you get an uh, attack bonus during resource battle. I don't know if a lot of people do have resource battles. But if you do, they're very great in it. But as you can see, the attack is at 63. As if you go to um, your royal knights, which are defense, of course. Um... The attack is pretty much the same, but the defense on your Royal Knights is a lot higher, as you can see. These guys are at 47, these guys are at 34. Um, and these guys are defense all the way. Um, they do have the charge as well, so you can hit enemy troops. Uh, well, enemy range troops. Uh, increase march speed, obviously. Dude's riding a horse. Um, but the, the difference is they, these guys have the dodge. They have a chance to miss damage. So... <clears throat> That doesn't mean when they're dealing damage, it has a chance to miss. That means when they're defending, it has a chance to dodge the enemy attack, pretty much. So, Wing Knights, attack. Royal Knights, defense. So you can classify them as um, mounted archers and cavalry. <clears throat> For your mages, um, I usually call them blue and red guys. Red guys, school mages, arch mages. Um, these guys are defense. Uh, as you can see, they have the magic shield, which has high defense and um, health points. The load, you just get high load, which means you, you need less troops to um, less troops to go out and gather. And then your siege defense, you get a defense bonus when uh, during the siege. So when you're getting attacked, you get the defense bonus from these guys. Um, these guys are attack, mad sorcerers, they get the power attack, uh, greatly increases their attack, improves their range, and they get attack bonus during the siege as well. So, when you're attacking these guys, they get an attack bonus as well, just like your archers, but instead of defending, they're used for attack. So, blue mages, attack, red mages, defense, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um... Just know your skills, know your troop types. Uh, when you're reinforcing people, use a lot of infantry, use a lot of crossbowmen. Um, 
work on what I've showed you guys with your dragons. Um, I don't think I did show you the dragon. I'm not positive, so I'm going to go over it anyways. Um, I always have a blue dragon garrison and defense for talents. Obviously, you work on the dragon attack and defense. Um, infantry uh, defense is one of probably the best ones to work on as well. Um, you want cavalry is not really a big deal. Um, your shooter attack you want at very, very high rate. Um, mine's not very high, but you want yours to be very high. Um, you want to work on your caster attack and defense as well. Um, they just recently added these ones, which is the health points of your troops. Uh, if you're working on these, work on your infantry, your shooter, and your caster. Um, don't worry too much about cavalry. Uh, cavalry doesn't really play too much of a big factor in the defense, but they are there, so if you want, you can work on them, but focus on your infantry, your, um, crossbowmen and your mages uh these guys are going to be a great help in defending your castle against those bigger guys um i think i have a battle report from one of these from a bigger guy and i will show you see if i can find These are, these are some older ones. This is from back in May. Um, castle wasn't very big at the time. As you can see, I'm going up against a pretty powerful castle. His march is significantly bigger than mine. Um, I didn't have my defense set up on this one. And he wasn't even using a god. But you can see his stats are freaking ridiculous. And 300% um, over... Just, just, just crazy. Uh, so it was very hard to defend against this guy. I think he was a Radiance 2. Uh, maybe Radiance 3. But you can see he's using very high level Skyland troops. Couldn't really do much about defending against him. Um, Alright, maybe this was a, was a bad one. Well, it's a good one to show you that your traps do absolutely nothing. <laughs> you can see 11 kills, 6 kills, 4 kills. This is why I don't use traps. This is why I don't build them. They're a waste of resources. Waste of my time. Um, but yeah, this was actually a pretty bad battle report to show you guys. But, regardless, if you follow, follow what I've showed you, and, um, just keep working towards your dragons, and keep on working towards your stardust and your research, um, you're gonna have, you're gonna have successful defenses. Um, don't, don't be afraid to get hit, that's my main thing. Um, your troops are gonna get wounded, and you're gonna kill theirs regardless, so... If, if you got somebody big coming at you, like that last guy, yeah, that guy kind of sucks, but, um, don't, don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to get hit, uh, you can always rebuild troops, um, well, that's pretty much it for, like, a good defense setup for you guys, I know a lot of people don't, um, know where to find information like this, so I hope it was a great help to you guys, um, if you liked it, hit, give me, give me a like, Give me a share. Subscribe to me. Um, not really picky about those things, but uh, I'll take it. Um, this is Clash of Queens MOD, a guardian. And I am out of here. I'm going to go back to my other kingdom and kill some crap. Um, I'll be back with you guys for another video.